Marshfield Community News is powered by Tiny and Sons Auto Glass. Earlier this year, the big sort of uh, midsummer in June, uh, DPW, who is charged under the charter with maintaining our parks, Sean Patterson, who recently took over for the DPW, came to me and said he wanted to bring in a company to do uh, a study of all of our playgrounds to make sure that, you know, what, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be maintained, what type of programs does the DPW have to put in place to maintain them. There was no uh, mulch down for uh, protection for the kids if they fall down. Uh, so what we're doing is we're trying to resurface all the playgrounds to try and get them open as soon as we can. We have to put a, a mulch base down, which is required to meet certification. Some of the equipment needs to be uh, repaired. Uh, we're in the process of doing that as well. And uh, Mr. Moresco and I, we, we thought that the best thing to do was try and get the schools open first because school starts in another week. So that's our main focus. He made a commitment, both Sean and I, to the new superintendent, that we would get the school playgrounds open in time for school to open, and I, I think we'll be able to do that. So uh, one of the other issues is Tower Avenue Park. There were some deficiencies there, not only with not having the right padding on the ground and pads, but there was also a big chunk of concrete that was exposed that was a, a tripping and hazard. You know, what I would direct people to do is go to the town website and read through the 86 pages. That's sort of the roadmap to what the town has to do. And as a parent, I know it's frustrating, you know, in the height of summer when you have to close playgrounds. But as a parent, I want to make sure if my child was going to a uh, town facility that it met all the standards that, uh, that are out there. Uh, but it's about planning, and uh, we have a lot of parks, and we're going to make sure it's our responsibility to make sure that they're properly maintained. Marshfield Community News is powered by Tiny and Sons Autoglass.